Hi guys, it's Jessica from Jessica Bella Reads. This is my third Jack in the Shops post, but my first vlog. Um, so please bear with me. I'm just going to do my review books that I've gotten in the mail for review because <clears throat> I don't want this post to take forever. I will do a couple more within the days to come, probably two more because I have two more sets of things to show you. But first I will do um, just books I got for review. So. To start off, we have A Shade of Vampire by Bella Forrest. This is a book I accepted her review pitch, and um, I'm excited to read this. I need to actually get on this and uh, read it as soon as possible and review it. The second book is Loki's Wolves, or Loki's Wolves. By, uh, it's actually by Kelly Armstrong and Melissa Marr. Um, it's a middle grade novel. Um, I'm actually not going to be reading and reviewing this one because I don't read middle grade really, so um, I'm going to be giving this one away for a children's giveaway coming up soon on the blog, so keep an eye out for that. I have uh, A Natural Creatures by Neil Gaiman. Um, this is actually a collection of short stories that he selected and put together. Um, this is also one that I did not request, um, and this is up for trade on the Young Adult Book Exchange if anyone is interested. Then I have Witchfire by Laura Powell. Um, this is the second book in the Burnmark trilogy. I requested this one. Um, this is from Bloomsbury and it comes out on May 28th. So keep a look out for the review towards the end of the month. Then we have Coda by Emma Trevane. Um, this is from Running Press. Um, I hadn't heard of Running Press before this book, but I requested it and because um, it sounded really, really good. I read it, and this is going to be a five-star review, guys. This book was awesome sauce. It was really great. Um, it's a dystopian, but it's got a really cool premise, and it's something that I've never read before, and it's just really, really, really good. Um, so... Keep a look out for my review on that one. This one comes out on May 13th, so you should see the review very shortly. Then, this is one I did not request, but just received in the mail and was really excited about it. This is The Testing by Joelle Charbonneau, I believe. I hope I didn't butcher her last name. Um, they say this is supposed to be sort of for fans of The Hunger Games. Um, I like The Hunger Games, so I'm thinking that hopefully I'll like this. I don't know if it's too copycat-ish. I might get annoyed, but I'm going to give it a shot, and this one comes out in June, so we'll see. Then I have Golden Girl by Sarah Zatel, and um, this is the sequel to Dust Girl. I requested this from Random House. This is a really uh, dust girl I love, so I'm really excited to see what happens next. Um, then I got a package from Penguin. Um, I did not request this book, which is 45 pounds more or less. This is a contemporary. I don't really read contemporary once in a while, but this one isn't really something that I would be interested in. So I put this one up on the Young Adult Book Exchange as well. This one comes out in July. <clears throat> also in that package was Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, which I did request, and I am super, super psyched about. Um, this one releases in August, so I'm going to have to wait a while to read it, but I cannot wait. I want to really just dive into it right now, but I can't. Then I received a finished copy of the Shadow In the Shadow of Blackbirds, by Cat Winters, and I was really excited about this because I had um, requested an ARC of this and didn't receive one, and then all of a sudden the finished copy pops in my mailbox, and I was really happy about this. This is one I've also finished, and this is also going to be a five-star review, guys. This book was really, really, really good. Then I have Icons by Margaret Stoll. This one I won through the shelf awareness giveaway. Um, I actually received two copies of this book, one from the publisher and one from the shelf awareness giveaway, and I have already traded one of the copies with a fellow young adult book exchange trader, so, and that will be on the way to you on Monday. 
So, and I started this book. I read a couple chapters in. It sounds really good. I'm excited to read more of it. Um, this one comes out on the 13th of May. So, I'm when I get around to it, I'm going to finish this one and review it. Then we have Deviant by Helen Fitzgerald. Um, this is by Soho Teen, which is a fairly new imprint for Soho. They usually just do crime stuff, I believe. Um, so, I'm excited. This one comes out in June. It sounds really interesting. It's kind of like a mystery thriller type thing, and um, we'll see. I'm excited to read that one. Then we have The Last Academy by Anne Applegate, and this is part of the Last Academy blog tour um, from Itching for Books blog tours. And my stop is on Tuesday, May 7th, so keep an eye out for my stop and you'll see my review there. Then we have Star Curse. This is another penguin. This is, well, it's Putnam, but it's penguin. They're all, you know, Penguin has a million imprints. Um, this one comes out in June, and I loved Born Wicked, so I'm super excited to read Star Curse as soon as I can get to it. Uh, I was so happy when this came in the mail. I did, like, a little happy dance. And then I'm just going to tell you guys quick um, the books that I received, the e-books that I received for review recently. Um, I'm not going to show them to you because as you can see I have an old black and white, well it's not old but it's actually really new, I got it at Christmas, but it's a black and white, you know, e-ink nook, so, you know, the covers aren't going to really be very pretty on here anyways. Um, okay, we have Chantress by Amy Butler Greenfield, um, and reviewing that for, also for the blog tour for, um, Itching for Books blog tours, Shane does some awesome blog tours for some awesome books. And my stop is coming up, I believe, sometime around the 13th of May. I may be wrong about that, but it's on my sidebar on my blog, so if you want to know, check it out, or you'll just wait and see it up on the day. Um, then I have Reboot by Amy Tintera, Born of Illusion by Terry Brown, um, Charm and Strange by Stephanie Kuhn. And I'm also reviewing Charm and Strange for the blog tour by, um, for Shane's blog tour, Itching for Books. Um, and that's not till June, so we have, we have a while for that one. Um, then we have Ink by Amanda Sun. I'm excited to read that one. Data Runner by Sam Patel. Parallel by Lauren Miller. Um, The Forgotten Ones by Laura Howard. I'm actually doing a guest post, well, Laura's doing a guest post on my blog for another Itching for Books blog tours blog. Um, and that one's coming up fairly soon as well in May, early May. So take a look and you'll see that on my blog fairly shortly, her guest post. And she hasn't sent it to me yet. She said she'll send it to me in a couple of days and I'm excited to re see what she has to say. Um... So anyway, so I got the arc anyways, just because I'm on the blog tour. So, we also have, um, Far, Far Away by Tom McNeil. And I think there's two more. Just scroll through all of my actual books. Okay. Um, Transparent by Natalie Whipple and Night School by C.J. Daughtry. And one that I haven't downloaded yet, but I just got approved for, is Shadow Lark um, by Megan Spooner, which is the sequel to Skylark. I'm really excited for that one, and I was super happy when I saw that I got approved for that. Um, so I put in a bunch more requests for a bunch of ebooks that, a bunch of new Harper ebooks that I saw came out on Edelweiss. Um, so. I'm hoping I get approved for some of those, and I can show you guys those next week. Also, um, I requested a ton of art from the publishers um, over the past couple of days. I just went art request crazy because there were so many good books coming out this fall, and I'm just 
I just can't control myself. Um, so, I hope you guys liked my first video stacking the shelves post. And you will see a couple more because I have to show you books that I got for trade and bought. And I also have to show you a box I got from Nicole, the paperback princess. Um, I won her blog anniversary giveaway. And she sent me a huge box of goodies. But I'm going to do my its own video just to show you what I got in that box of goodies. So you're going to have to keep an eye out for those two other videos because I don't want them. This is already 10 minutes long. So... I don't want to have you guys bored to tears. So thanks for watching my first video. I hope it didn't completely suck. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys.